Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Okay. It's not coming. You can see this button right here. Mm -hmm. You hit that, and then you can invite people. Oh, okay. Go ahead. And then you'll see the numbers start coming up. See if someone just came in. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Glory. Blessings to you. Pray that you had a wonderful weekend. Blessings. Makes it flat. Good morning, Minister Bird. Good morning. Blessings to you. Good morning, Lenore. Blessings to you. Good morning, Lenore. Pray that you all had a wonderful. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Brother Sam. Good morning, everyone. You invite that bishop in there. Good morning, Pastor and Vances. Blessings to you all. Pray that you had a wonderful weekend. Okay, you can bring it down. Beautiful family. Thank you. All right. Make sure you invite. Make sure you invite at least 10 people. Yes. Make sure you invite at least 10 people. Make sure you invite at least 10 people. We're on a little earlier. That's why I'm giving you time to invite people. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Glory, for inviting your followers. Thank you, Lenore, for inviting and, and sharing the watch party. Thank you. God bless you, Latasha. God Hello, bless you, Latasha. Shimani. Make sure you share with your friends and family. Invite at least 10 people. Invite at least 10 people. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning, Nisi. Hello, everyone. Good morning, Valerie. Yes. Make sure you invite at least 10 people. Good morning. Good morning. Make sure you invite at least 10 people. When you're ready, say ready. What time are you up, baby? Uh, 10 o'clock. I mean, 9 o'clock. You sure? Good morning, Rosetta. Oh, Blessings to you. God bless you. All right. Good morning, Tina. Love you. Hey, Tina. Make sure you invite at least 10 people. When you're ready, say ready. Ready. When you're ready, say ready. It's 902. Somebody says 902. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. When you're ready, say ready. Bless you, Bless you. Suzanne was trying to chart all the names in Genesis. Hard to keep up with who's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. 
Good morning, Grace. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for sharing. Thank you all for sharing. Good. Excellent. All right. When you're ready, say ready. We're going to speak a blessing over you and your family. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Good morning, Dina. Good, Good morning, morning. Felicia. Felicia. The Lord Dina. bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance yes. upon you and give you shalom. All right. This morning, we're going to talk from the subject, Untapped Power. Good morning, Teresa. Good morning. Hey, Lady Bryant. Good morning, <laughs> Teresa. Blessings. All right. Put this down. Un. Excuse me. Trap Power. That's what we're going to talk about. Okay. Good morning, y'all. Trap. <laughs> <laughs> trap Power. Let's talk about Trap Power. Ephesians 3 and 20. That's good. Trap power. Write that down. That's our subject. Trap power. Thank you, Latasha. When you write, you write on here. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Minister Gary. Good morning, Jermaine. Good morning, Love you. Guys. We're going to talk about trap power today. Lady B. Hey. All right, trap power. Thank you, Rosetta. Ephesians 3 and 20. Just read this last night. Awesome. Wow. Ephesians 3 and 20. Trapped power. Trapped power. The scripture says, now unto him mm -hmm. that is able. Good morning, Dolores. Blessings. Good morning. Dolores. Now unto him that is able. Good morning, Aisha. Blessings to you. God bless, bless you, you, Apostle. Apostle Styles, God bless you. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask or think, mm -hmm. according to the power that worketh in us. Mm -hmm. This morning we want to talk about trapped power. Okay. Good morning, Trash. Good Blessings morning. to you. Trapped power. Trapped power. We're going to use another scripture found in Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. God bless you, Apostle Williams. Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, let's look at this. Genesis chapter 1, verse 22. Genesis 1 and 22, write that down, please. Genesis 1 and 22. Good morning, God daughter. Blessings, Hi. Olivia. God bless you. Hey, God mom. Hi, Love honey. you both. Love you. Love you. All right, Genesis 1, 22. Mm -hmm. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the waters and the seas, and let uh, the fowls multiply in the earth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Write this down. Be fruitful. Write this down. Be fruitful. Come on. Then we're going to get into this lesson today. Good morning, Renee. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom. Hey, bless hey, you, Chad. Chad. Love you, man. <laughs> give our love to pastor and co-pastor. That's right. All right. This morning we're talking about trapped power. That's good. Okay. Bishop, <laughs> first lady. Thank you. God bless you. Okay. Trapped power. Now unto him, I want you to hear this, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. God bless, bless you, Minister you. Henry. Tell Sister Linda, I said God bless her. All right, so you got that? This morning we're going to talk about trap power. Amen. Okay. 
trap power. Write this down, please. Okay? The greatest revelation you can get mm -hmm. is a revelation of who you are. Write that down. That's good. The greatest revelation you can get is a revelation of who you are. Amen. Thank you, Glory. Amen. Thank you, Renair. The greatest revelation you can get is a revelation of who you are. Amen. Who you are and what you possess. Who you are and what you possess. You don't need to be entertained. Mm -hmm. You need a revelation of who you are. Oh, Amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Bomb Squad. Yes, Thank bomb. you, Bomb Squad. Come on. God bless you, Shelly. Good morning. God bless you. Bless you, Shelly. Pray that you had a wonderful yes. week. Come on. Write this down. God bless you, Suzanne. Write this down. My God. You were born a leader. Come on. You that. were born a leader. Thank you. You were born a leader. Come right. on, I want to give you a couple of things and then we're going to move. You were born a leader. Amen. Yeah. The greatest revelation you can get is a revelation of who you are and what you possess. You were born a leader. Amen. Good morning, daughter. Good morning. Benita. Hallelujah. Come on. You were born a leader. Amen. Watch this. The world, society, and culture will make you believe you are a follower. Everything in culture, everything in the world wants you to be a follower. But you are not a follower. You are a leader. You are a leader. You are not a follower. You are a leader. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Culture tells you you, good morning, Nicole. Blessings to you. God bless Come you. on. Culture tells you you're a follower, but God called you to be a leader. Amen. Trap in every follower is a leader. Write that down. Trap in every follower is a leader. Mm. Come on. Trap in every follower is a leader. Leadership potential resides in every individual. Amen. Write that down. Amen. Leadership potential resides in every individual. Amen. Love you. God Love bless you, you, Apostle. Come on. Trapped in every follower is a leader. Leadership potential resides in every individual mm. let me say it again lead thank you minister bird leadership potential minister gary resides in every individual wow. whether you recognize it or not whether you use it or not it's still in you Come on, somebody shout, it's in me. It's in me. Come on, shout, it's in me. It's whether in you me. recognize it, whether you use it, Amen. glory, leadership, potential That's resides right. in every person. Thank you, Jesus. And it's up to you to tap into it. Mm -hmm. There is trap power in you. And this is the year you release it. I receive it, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It's yes. in you. Good. Yes. It's in you. Yes, it is. It's in you. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got it? Okay, good. One more thing, and then we're going to get moving through these scriptures. This is a year. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Good, right. good. Write this down. Good morning. Bless you, man of God, Kenny. God bless you. All right. Write this down. True leadership is, come on, true leadership is self-manifestation. Mm. True leadership is self-manifestation. Mm, that's good. Come on. True leadership is self-manifestation is when you realize who you are. 
Good. Bless you, man of God, the Bryant team. <laughs> Thank you, Trash. True leadership is self manifestation. True leadership is self discovery. It's when you discover who you really are. Wow. Mm. True leadership, good Tina, is self manifestation. Lord have mercy. That's some good stuff. Manifesting your true self. Up until now, you have not manifested your true self. Can you be honest? Yes. Up until now, you have not manifested your true self. Yes. Come on. You've been living beneath your potential. Come on. You haven't been living in purpose. You haven't Come manifested on, your true wow. self. Wow. Wow. But this morning, I want to introduce Ooh, you Jesus. to the real you. Oh my God. I want to introduce you to the real you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You, you were born a leader. Yes, Trapped inside of you is hidden potential. Trapped inside of you is power. Untapped power. Good God Almighty. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. That's Hallelujah. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on. The real me. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Come on. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you. That's right. All right. Three points. Three points, and I'm going to let you go. Are you ready? When you're ready, say ready. I'm ready. Uh, hidden potential untapped. Yes, yes, right. yes. Yeah, Kenny. Yeah. yeah. You haven't met the real Kenny yet. Mm -hmm. There is a powerful man of God. There is a man of prayer. There is a man of understanding. There is a man of wisdom locked inside of you. The power is trapped, but God trapped it inside of you. Mm. No one can give it to you. Education can't give it to you, but you must discover it on your own. Oh my God. Hallelujah. That's the key. Hallelujah. Good morning, Brother George, Sister God Sherry. Love you. Love you. You miss you guys. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Genesis 1 God bless them. Mm -hmm. Come on. Write down. Write that down. I'm blessed. Come on. Yes. Write it down. I'm blessed. Genesis 1 And God bless them. Come on. Come on, if you know that, come on, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. It doesn't mean what you think. It's not talking about materials. It's not talking about what you wear. It's not talking about where you live. It's not talking about what you drive. Rosetta, the word blessed means empowered to prosper. Good God Almighty. My God, Benita, Rosetta, Dina, Suzanne, Kenny, Tresh, you have been empowered to prosper. Mm. Minister Gary, Tina, Minister Bird, Minister Smith, Teresa, Valerie, you have been empowered to prosper. Oh, yes. Nisi, Nicole, you have been empowered to prosper. That word blessed means empowered to prosper. There you go. The first thing God says to Adam and Eve, he blessed them. Yeah. He empowered them to prosper. From now on, whatever you do, you will prosper. Amen. Good morning. Natalie, bless you. Come on. Hallelujah. You've been empowered to prosper. Come on. You don't have to try to think about it. God has already empowered you to prosper. Yes. There you go, Tina. I will prosper. Yes. Why? Yes. Because God has empowered you to prosper. Come on. He anointed you to prosper. My God. All right, good. Good morning, church. Ah, I like that. Good morning, Sadie. Blessings hey, to you. Sadie. Come on. Sadie, you have been empowered to prosper. Yes. Come on. You have been empowered to prosper. My God. That's, That's right. why you got to stop 
thinking uh, it may not work. Come on, you've been empowered to prosper. What do you mean it may not work? He said, whatever you put your hand to do, it will prosper. Do you believe it? Either he meant what he said or he didn't. Whatever you put your hand to, it shall prosper. Yes, Pastor. Good God Almighty. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Do you it believe that? Prosper. I don't care if you never went to school for it. I don't care if nobody ever taught you it. Whatever you put your hand to do, it will prosper. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. No, that's right. Genesis 1, God blessed them saying, be fruitful. That's what I want to deal with today. That's what I want to deal with today. He said, be fruitful. Come on. He said, be fruitful. Come on, be fruitful. The only way you can be fruitful, Benita, if you already possess the seed. Mm. Glory, the only way you can be fruitful mm. if you possess the seed. Kenny, if God says be fruitful, that means you already have the seed. The seed is in you. Come on, the seed is in you, Valerie. The seed is in you, Minister Smith. Yes. The seed is in you, Jermaine. The seed is in you, Sister Sherry. The seed is in you, glory, to prosper. The seed is in you. He commands you, be blessed yes. and power to prosper. Yes. And then he says, you are full of seeds. I've put the seed in you to get the job done. I've already given you the seed. Good, Lenore. Good, Shamani. You already have the seed. Good, Sadie, you already have the seed. The seed is in you. Amen. My God. Hallelujah. There you go. Come on, somebody say, I'm loaded. I'm loaded. Come on, Evangelist Bryant, you are loaded. I am loaded. Evangelist Bryant, you came here loaded. Yes, I Nisi, did. you came to this earth loaded. Renee, you came to this earth loaded. Yes. Teresa, you came to this earth loaded loaded. You are fully Amen. loaded to accomplish what God has called you to do. Tasha, you are loaded. Tina, you are loaded. Yes. Shamani, you are loaded. Sadie, you are loaded. My God, now it's time to tap into that trap power. I am loaded down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Number one, number one, the Bible said, according to the power that works in you. According to the power that works in you. Okay? So you've got to find out what that power is. Okay? Number one, you've got to find your gift. Come on. Number one, you've got to find your gift. Good, Sadie. You've got to tap into that trap power. That power is your gift. It's your gift. You've got to, number one, find your gift. Come on. Number two, you've got to refine your gift. My God, I feel like preaching. Preach fast. Number one, you've got to find your gift, Sadie. Number two, Minister Bird, you've got to refine your gift. My God. And number three, come on. Where's my bomb squad at? Where's my bomb squad? When you find the gift, you've got to refine it. Mm. You've got to do everything to learn about it. My God. If your gift is dealing with uh, engineering, then you need to read about it. You need to study. Come on. Yes, if your gift is public speaking, you need to get tapes on public speaking, leadership, whatever. Find your gift. Refine your gift. Watch this. Number three, where's my bomb squad? Once you, Rosetta, once you find it, Sadie, and then you refine it, guess what happens, Kenny? You know what happens next? They will find you. That's good. Uh oh. That's good. Benita, cooking, cooking good. All right. Come sir. on. So you need to find everything on cooking, find out the best cooks. My God. Hallelujah. Find your gift, refine your gift, Valerie, and then they will find you. Once you, the reason why people haven't found you yet, because you haven't found your gift. 
When you find your gift and you refine your gift, people will find you. They will come to seek you out. I'm telling you by the Spirit. Come on, tap that screen. Keep tapping it. Keep tap. Let me tell you, good morning, Kadir. The Lord bless and keep you. Come on, keep tapping. I'm telling you this. Good. I'm telling you this by the Spirit. Hear me. After this uh, scope is over. Okay. After this scope is over, the Lord told me to tell you, if you find your gift, if you refine your gift, God said people will begin to seek you out and then they will pay you okay. according to what you desire. They will ask you, what is your price? Come on. Wow. They will ask wow. you, what is your price? Okay. No longer shall you accept a paycheck. No longer no, shall you okay. accept a salary. From now on, you will determine what you make. God you will you. determine it. You will determine it. Yes, yes. My God. That's good, Pastor. I'm telling you. Wow. Th th this is not a plaything. Once you find your gift, there you go. Yeah, you're going to set the price. Mm -hmm. You're going to set the price. You're going to set the price. Amen. Sadie, I tell you this by the Spirit. God said you need to specialize. Write that word down, specialize. Specialize. Father, we thank you for the seed sown by Sam. Every seed meets Amen. his need in Jesus' Amen. name. Come on, put that up there, specialize. Mm. You just don't want to find a gift. You want to specialize in something. You just don't want to cook. You want to specialize in a certain wow, food, like Italian that. food. Come on. You don't want to just uh, deal with children. You want to deal with top. You want to specialize. You want to specialize. Good God. Amen. You want to specialize. Yes, yes. You don't want to just be saying, I do this. I'm a public speaker. What do you speak on? Do you speak on purpose? What do you speak on? Do you speak on management? What do you speak on? Do you speak on leadership? Seafood. There Seafood. Go. Good. That's Excellent. Right. God bless you, Eddie. Love you, man. You've got to specialize. Okay? Hallelujah. You got that? Good morning, Gloria. You've got to specialize. You owe the world your gift. Write that down. You owe the world your gift. Mm. Before this is over, I'm going to pray that God reveal your dominant gift. I'm going to pray that God reveal your dominant gift. That thing that causes you to be unique. That thing that sets you apart from everyone else. Amen. You owe the world your gift. God put the gift in you. God put the gift in you, and you owe the world your gift. My God, Tina, your birth is proof that there is something in you that the world needs. Amen. Kenny, my God, your birth is proof. Thank you, Jesus. Olivia, your birth is proof yes. that there is something in you the world needs. Come on. Hallelujah. Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. My God, hallelujah. God put you here, Lenore. God put you here, Rosetta. Amen. God put you here, Minister Bird. God put you here, yes. Pamela. Yes. My God, God put you here, Minister Bryant, yes. to serve your generation. Mm -hmm. My, Write that down. That's you good. are to serve your generation with your gift. The reason why God gave you the gift is for you to serve your generation with the gift. Come on. You are to serve your generation with the gift. That's good. God wants you to influence your generation. Mm -hmm. You are an influencer. My God. There you go. Serve your generation. Amen. The Bible said David served his generation. You are here to serve your generation. You're going to leave a mark that cannot be erased. You are a world changer. You are a history maker. Hallelujah.
My God. You are a world changer. Yes. You are a history maker. Yes. You were sent here, Felicia, to serve you. your generation. Hallelujah. Write this down, capital letters. Refine your gift and they will find you. Okay. Refine your gift and they will find you. Benita, refine your gift and they will find you. Mm. Mm. Renee, refine your gift and they will find you. Amen. Refine your gift and they will find you. Turn off the TV. Turn off the TV. Good morning, Sister Ann. Turn off the TV. The TV is a thief. The TV steals your time. All right, Pastor. Come on. Turn that's, off that's all distractions. Okay. It's time to refine your gift so they can find you. It's time to refine your gift so they can find you. That's good. Hallelujah. You want to say something? Mm -hmm. You go ahead, Pastor. He, he is preaching this morning. <laughs> Once you refine your gift, people will pay you what you want. Mm -hmm. They'll pay you the price. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Turn off all distractions. Okay? I don't know if you're ready for this because there's a lot of people you're connected to that are not going where you're going. That's right. Let me say that again. There's a whole lot of people connected to you that are not going where you're going. And if you're serious about pursuing your gift, then there's people you got to cut off. Mm -hmm. There's habits you got to cut off. Mm -hmm. They're distractions. There you yes. go. They're distractions. That's right. They're distractions. Hallelujah. Write this down. Your gift is the key to influence. Mm -hmm. Write this down. Your gift is the key to influence. Write this down. Your gift... Yeah is the key, key to influence. I don't care how long you've known them. I don't care if they're your homegirl, homeboy. I don't care who they are. They're not going where you're going. Come on. Your gift is the key to influence. There you go. Good. Your gift is the key to influence. If you do not influence, you will be influenced. Influence. That's right. Okay. Let that me say that again. True. Yes. My God. That's so true. Traveling Father, we thank you for traveling mercies. Amen. In Jesus' name, for Kadir. Valerie, if you do not influence, you will be influenced. That's right. Did you hear me? If you do not influence, you will be influenced. Mm -hmm. Good, Eddie? That's right. Nicole, if you do not influence, you will be influenced. Hallelujah. That's right. That's why Go prayer ahead. is the key. When you get yourself in prayer, God will show you. He will direct you. And you will be influenced. They will want to follow you instead of you following them. Because you are the chosen one, even in your family. Doesn't matter. God wants you to be the leader. Come on, tap that screen. Tap that screen. Tap that screen. Amen. Come on. You are people of purpose. Mm -hmm. Come on. Write those three words down. Purpose. Purpose. Come on. Write those three words down. Purpose. Mm -hmm. Potential. When God gives you purpose, he gives you potential. The purpose of potential is so you can fulfill your purpose. Amen. Lord, That's have right. mercy. Come on. Purpose and potential. Amen. We all have purpose. We all have potential. You know why we come on here? Because we are serving this generation with our gift. I come on every day. I'm serving my generation Amen. with my gift. Amen. Find your passion. Find your passion, Olivia. 
Serve the world with your gift, mm -hmm. and people will be attracted to it. That's the truth. Felicia, yes. find your passion. Serve the world with your gift, mm -hmm. and people will be attracted to it. Right. People are not attracted to you. They're attracted to your gift. Okay. Write that down, please. That's why people fall, Sadie, because people think, that people are attracted to them. Yes. People are not attracted to you. They're attracted to your gift. Okay. It is your gift that attracts people. It's not you. God anointed you. God gave you a gift to serve people. Mm -hmm. People are attracted to your gift. That's good, Pastor. Yes. To your gift. Yes. Sometimes you get offended. You say, oh, those, that person used me. Because they were never attracted to you. Wow. They're attracted to your gift. Wow. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. Your gift will do what? Make room Ooh. for you. It's your gift that makes room for you. It's not you. It's not your education. It's the gift that God has given you. Hallelujah. Suzanne, your gift makes room for you. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. You got Amen. that? Good. And you got to serve. You've got to serve people with your gift. You've got to serve people with your gift. Hallelujah. Good morning, Kiwasha. Good morning, Raven. Blessings to you. And Pastor, Go ahead. with your gift, it comes with compassion. Right. Yeah, you have compassion with your gift. And that's true. Father, we thank you for Sadie sowing Amen. this morning. Every seed meets her need. Amen. That's right. Come on. How do you keep that gift strong? By serving. See, the more you serve, the stronger your gift gets. The more you serve, the stronger your gift gets. The more you serve, the stronger your gift gets. Okay. Come on. The more you serve, you want to be great. Serve. 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 Keep right. serving your gift. That's right. Keep serve. serving your gift. Hallelujah. That's right. serve. You got that? All right. Write this word down, influence. influence. Write the word down, influence, because that's what the gift God gives you is all about. God wants you to influence. That's what it's all about. Everybody is influenced by somebody. Everybody is influenced by somebody. Just praying God continue to keep it. Oh, yeah, he got you. Mm -hmm. He got you. He got you. Okay. Can I show you something? Can I show you something that yes. blessed me this week? Mm -hmm. Watch this, Benita. Watch this, Minister Gary. I want to go over a couple of scriptures, okay? This blessed me this week. Jeremiah, Shelley, 29 and 11. Jeremiah, 29 and 11. Now, you, you, you know the scripture. It's very familiar. But I know the plans right. that I have Sweet. towards you, saith the Lord. Okay? Write this down. God has a plan for me. Awesome word to start my day. Love you, Pastor. Love you, Vance. Thank you, you Sister Pamela. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace mm -hmm. and not of evil to give you an expected end. Now watch this. Good God Almighty. Good. This bless me. This blessed me, Kenny. The Lord told me this week, Evangelist Bryant, not only do I have a plan for you, watch this, mm -hmm. but I have a way to get you there. All right. Wow. Did you hear that? See, we read it. God has a plan. But Sadie, he doesn't just have a plan for you. He has a way Thank to you get you there. You, he doesn't just have a plan for you, Tina. He has a way to get you there. 
He doesn't just have a plan for you, Evangelist Bryant. He has a way you, to Lord. get you there. Kiwasha, he's not leaving it up to you yeah. to get there. Uh -uh. He has a way to get you there. Good God That's Almighty. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. There you go, Kenny. He has a way to get you there. Watch that. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you Ephesians 1.11. This blessed me, Nisi. It blessed me. It blessed me because he's not leaving it up to you, Rosetta, to get there. Because look how long, look how long it's taking you to figure out what it is. Mm -hmm. He ha Good, daughter. He has a way to get you there. Ephesians 1 and 11. Watch this. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated. According to the purpose of him, watch this, who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Wow. Okay, write that word down, predestined. My God, are y'all ready to go now? With my God. Predestined. There it is. Predestined. Come on. Predestined. Predestined. The prefix pre means before. before. Come on. Mm -hmm. The prefix pre means before. Come on. Pre means before, Rosetta. Oh, I didn't got here. And then destined destined means in. Pre means before, and destined means in. Can I show you something? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? I want you to see this. Isaiah 46. Isaiah 46. Pre means before. Destined means in. Mm -hmm. So God has predestined. Watch. My God. Are you ready? Ready, Pastor. Isaiah 46. Let's look at verse number 9. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 46 and 9. 9 and 10. Isaiah 46, 9 and 10. Mm. Remember the former things. Oh. Remember the former things of old. For I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. That's right. You need the praise right there. All right. He said, That's I'm right. God, there's Kenny, and there's none nobody like else. me. Thank nobody's you. like me. Nobody. Thank I you, said, Lord. nobody's like Jehovah. Nobody. Can we stop and praise him Hallelujah. right there? That there is nobody no like, like our God. No there are other gods, small g, but there's no God right. like our God. No one like him. Okay. Watch this. Six. Verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning, the mm. from the beginning and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do of all my pleasure. pleasure. That's right. Did you see what he said? I don't know if you caught that. Mm -hmm. He said, nobody's like me, mm -hmm. Nicole. No one. Because, watch this. Really? I start with the end. My Good God, God Almighty. Mm -hmm. See, some of it. you are about, some of you are trying to figure out All right. if I'm going to make it, if it's going to work out. My God God. said, what you are waiting on is already finished. It's already done. He said, I started. Yes. Come with on. the end, and then I begin. Thank you, Jesus. Let me say that again. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Yes, Lord. My God. Glory. Hallelujah. You got it? Thank you, Jesus. See, man, write this down. Thank you, Lord. Man works from the left to the right. Mm. 
Come on. Watch this, Kenny. Man works from left to right, Kiwasha. Olivia, man works from left to right. We start and then we finish. But God said, I am the only one who ends and then begins. My God. See, man starts and he finishes. But God says, I finish. Yes. And then I start. Thank you, God. So if I'm going to start something, guess what? It's already, it's already finished. Good God mm. Almighty. All right. Got me all worked Lord, up. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Minister Bird. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Glory. It's Thank already you. finished. Write that down. It's already finished. You, he Lord. says, good morning, Liz. Blessings to you. He says, I start with the end. Yes. I fix your end, Thank you, Lord. and then I begin. Hallelujah. Your future. Mm. Oh, my. Mm. Tina, your future is God's past. Yes, yes. I don't know if you caught that, I Benita. Caught that. Your future, Felicia, is God's past. Your future, Sadie, is God's past. Your future is God's past. You're trying to catch up catch with... Up. What God has already done. It's a done deal. Lord yes, have mercy. Lord. God says a done deal. Hallelujah. Honey. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Did, did, did you see Ooh. that? You're trying to catch up with what God has already done. Somebody say, I'm listening. I'm running. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this. Put this down, please. I want you to see something. Put down time and eternity. Time versus eternity. My God. Oh, you said verse. Okay. Time versus eternity. Time versus eternity. Come on. Watch this. Write this down. Thank you. Hey, Liz. <laughs> hey, bless you. Diane. Diane. She said she's running. You. Hey. Me too. Watch this. Watch this, Minister Diane. Watch this. Watch this. God put you in something he doesn't live in. Wow. Catch that, Kenny. God put you, Minister Gary, in something he doesn't live in. Teresa, wow. God put you in something he doesn't live in. God put you in time, yes. but he lives in eternity. eternity. That's good, Pastor. Benita, God put you in time, yes. but he lives in eternity. eternity. And you feel like you've been waiting a long time, but because God lives in eternity, There's he no says, time. Evangelist yeah. Bryant, why are you in a hurry? Because... What you worried about is already finished. It's done. My That's God. right. See, some of you think you're getting too old. Some of you think you're ending. Woo! You're coming to the end. Jesus. And God says you're in something that I'm not in. Oh, I'm not God. restricted by time because I live in eternity. I'm not in time. Time is in me. Good God Almighty. Oh, my Koshande. Oh, ba 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 shete. My God, Liz, God says I'm not in time. Time is in me. Yes. You telling yes. me how much time they gave you. You're telling me about a deadline. God says I'm not concerned about your deadline because time does not restrict me. Time actually serves me. Oh, wow. God. Did you hear wow. that saying? God said, Time does not restrict him, Benita. Time serves him. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Time heard. does not restrict God. It serves God. Serves God. It serves God. Hallelujah. Can I tell you something I just heard? Mm -hmm. The Lord said, why are you serving time when time was meant to serve you? Come on. You don't have to be in jail to serve time. That's right. You serve time by not knowing who you are. Mm.
time was given to you to for it to serve you. You're not supposed to be serving time. Time is supposed to be serving you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for time. Can you thank God for time yes, this morning? Come on, thank him for time. Lord, I thank you for your time. Some of you don't even know why you're thanking him for time. Oh I'm going to show you, Minister Diane, I'm going to show you why you should thank God for time. See, some of you said, I'd rather be in eternity, but you, you really don't want to be in eternity yet. Not yet. Okay. Write this down, please. Whatever is in eternity lives forever. Write that down. Whatever is in eternity lasts forever. Whatever is in eternity lasts forever. Come on, write that down. Whatever is in eternity lasts forever. Whatever, Raven, whatever is in eternity lasts forever. God bless you. Good morning, God Sharon. Sharon. Nisi, that's why you should thank God for time. Because whatever is in eternity, Sadie, lives forever. See, my God, you can go through a divorce. Mm -hmm. Thank God for time because it doesn't last forever. That's, right. that's why there's no marriage in eternity. No, it's not. There's no marriage there because it would last what? Forever. Divorce. The pain would be what? Forever. You should be glad that you're not there yet because the pain would be forever. Good morning, Cheyenne. <laughs> Blessings to you. Pray that you had a wonderful weekend. Amen. The Lord bless and keep you. Yes. Yeah. You thank God for time. Yes, I do. God gives you life. In doses. Write that down. God gives you life in doses. That's good, Pastor. Oh, my doses. God. Wow. Amen. This is an awesome word this morning. All right. I got to go now, I think. Amen. Life in doses. Come on. Somebody say, explain that, Pastor Brian. Explain that, Pastor Brian. Somebody say, explain that. What do you mean, life in doses? I never heard that one before, Pastor. See, time is so powerful, Kenny, that time causes you to push forward. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Okay. Somebody say, explain that. Life in doses. Okay, watch this. God gives you a year at a time, a month at a time, a week at a time, okay. a day at a time. See, God has to give you life in doses, okay. a year at a time. And so guess what? Every year that changes, God is giving you what? A new beginning. The new year erases the last year. Yes. It pushes you forward. Okay. It causes you to go forward. That's why you say that thing doesn't hurt as much. Why? Because God gave you a new okay. year, Wonderful. another day. New if beginning. I could just make it to another day, okay. this is the day that the oh, Lord has God. made. I will rejoice and be glad. You live life in days because you couldn't take it any other way. Oh my gosh. You couldn't take it. So God gives you one day at a time. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. New hour. Good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Write this down, please. Let me get out of here. Thank you for your time. Have you been blessed today? Oh, yes. Come on, tap that oh, yes. screen if you've been blessed by this word. So this morning, if you've been blessed by this word, come on, tap that screen. Come on. Somebody said, let's go, Pastor.
Hey! <laughs> good, good. My God. Okay, watch this. You don't this word this morning. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. See, this, my this God. You don't need to live long to influence the planet. Write that down. I needed this. I needed to get. There you go. That's right. You don't have to live long to influence the planet. Write that down. Mm -hmm. You don't have to live long to influence the planet. The planet, Lord have mercy. Come on, <laughs> I'm getting too excited. I'm telling you, I feel a, I feel a a, a push. I'll push I, you. I'm trying to calm down here. Don't, don't you don't me. have. Good morning, Evangelist Carolyn. Love God you. Bless you, bless Carolyn. you, woman of God. We've been praying for you. Amen. Come on, you don't have to live long to influence the planet. Wow. But you know what, Pastor, that's true. Because when a young person passed away and they said this person, even though they was young, but they influenced so many others. So, Pastor's right. You don't have to live a long time to touch somebody's heart. <laughs> yes. Write this down. Two people I want to give you. Methuselah. Oh. You ever heard of the name Methuselah? Mm -hmm. You ever heard of the name Methuselah? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. Yes, sir. Let me let me show you who Methuselah was. My spirit is bubbling from this word. I yes, sir. Right. Methuselah. Genesis chapter 5. Genesis chapter 5. Genesis chapter 5. God bless you, sister Helen. Bless you, Helen. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Methuselah. Genesis chapter 5, verse 27. Genesis 5, 27. And all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. That's right. Methuselah lived 969 years. Methuselah lived 969 years. 969 years. That's right. Did you, did you get that? Let me write that down. Somebody may want to know how to spell that. Oh, okay. Methuselah. Methuselah lived 900 years. And 69 years. But the only thing you know about Methuselah is he lived and he died. Right, right. No other scripture is written about him. Mm -hmm. He lived a long life, sure did. but no influence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus lived 33 and a half years and turned the world upside, upside down. down. You don't have to live long to influence. Right. You've got to just find your gift and serve your generation with your gift. Come on. Jesus found his gift. Yes. The Bible said his name shall be called Jesus. Why? Because he will save his people. He found that gift. Mm. What was his gift? Salvation. He stuck to his gift. What was it? Salvation. Oh, no matter God. people tried to make him go left, he stayed with his gift. He refined his gift and people sought him. Jeez. People sought him out. Jeez. Hallelujah. Ooh. Can I tell you something? How do you know? How do you know on, you found your gift? Because the less titles you need, good. The less titles you need, I like that. The greater the leader you are. Oh my God! Leaders do not need titles. No, they do not. Leaders serve. That's right. The less titles you need, that's right. Come on, the less titles you need, mm -hmm. the greater the leader that's you good, are. Pastor. 
That's that's good. You ever notice something? You ever notice something? You ever notice something, Minister Diana? You ever notice something, Evangelist Carolyn? Mm -hmm. All of the great people. I'm about to throw this home. Watch this. <laughs> Watch this, Felicia. All of the great people in the Bible, Liz, are known by their name. Right. We know right. Paul as Paul, Paul. Peter right. as Peter, John as John. We're the only people that need lots of titles. So Bishop so-and-so, Apostle so-and-so, Archbishop so-and-so. You've got to be known by your name. Jesus was known by his name. That's too much. Yes. And yes. Come on. I will make your name great. great. See, God promised to make your name great. Great. That's right. Not your title, not your position, right. but your name. That's right. That's it. You got to find your gift, refine your gift, That's right. and they will find you. Yes, they will. Three things, and I'm going. Three things I want you to grab. Mm. Number one, come on, number one, good stuff. Number one, mm. I need everybody to sow today. If, if you were impacted by this word, I need everyone to sow this morning. Amen. If you were impacted by this word, I need everyone to sow. Okay, watch this. Yeah, there you go. Use me, Lord, not my title. That's right. That's right. It's That's not right. about to see a true leader does not mm -hmm. seek position, no. power. Okay. Mm -mm. Most of the people, watch this. Uh oh. Most of the people you call leaders are not leaders. Let me say that again. Most of the people you call leaders are not leaders. Mm -hmm. Most of the people you call leaders are not leaders. Most of the people you call leaders are not leaders. Can you explain that, Pastor? Because true leaders don't seek power. Right. They seek to empower. Oh, that's true. True leaders don't look for followers. Mm -hmm. True leaders produce other leaders. That's right. So most of the people you call leaders are not leaders. Mm. A true leader produces other, other leaders. leaders. A true leader is not trying to get people to follow them. No. No. That's what most leaders do. Mm -hmm. They try to get people to follow them. Father, we thank you for the seed sown by glory, mm -hmm. seed sown by Sam in Jesus' name. Amen. That's true, Pastor. You're right. Jesus was the example. God bless you, Bishop. Appreciate you. Father, we thank you for the seed sown by Nisi. Amen. Jesus was the greatest example of true leadership. Mm -hmm. Yes. A true leader is working their way out of a job. Out of a job. That's a right. true leader is working their way out of the position. Yes. Yes. Jesus empowered others. He wasn't looking for power. He empowered wow. others. True leaders empower other people. That's right. Hallelujah. That is so true, Pastor. Did you hear me? True leaders empower other people. Father, we thank you for Evangelist Carolyn sowing this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Come on. That's why they couldn't understand when Jesus said, I got to go. They said, why are you leaving? He said, because yeah, yeah. you don't realize that my job is to produce a leader in you. That's right. My job is not for you to follow me. My job is to empower you. Hallelujah. That's why what we call leaders in politics, in government, they're not leaders. Because they're there, okay, to serve their own purpose. Yep, that's right. They're there to serve their own purpose. You only see a politician when an election is coming up. Right. You know why? Because the focus of the politician yeah. is to keep their seat in the next election. That's right. But a true leader is about purpose. Yes. A true leader is about potential. 
And so all they're trying to do is stay in office. Mm. Father, we thank you for the seed sown by Valerie. Amen. We thank you for the seed sown by Benita in Amen. Jesus' name. All right, write these three words down. Three words. Come on. I'll come back at six. I have so much more. Three words. Organize, prioritize, discipline. Organize, prioritize, and discipline. Organize, prioritize, and discipline. Organize, prioritize, and discipline. Mm. You've got to organize your life. And then you've got to begin to prioritize. And then you've got to discipline yourself. Okay? Jesus. Okay? You got to discipline yourself. It's time to get organized. Okay? Okay? Because you are about to move into your dominant gift. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I, man, Lord have mercy. I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to come back. All right. Because I'm fully loaded. When yes, I told you about you loaded, I'm loaded. Because I want to show you the difference between job and work. Wow, Pastor. Can I tell you that? Write that down over there. Okay. There's a difference between job and work. There's a difference between job and work. God called you to work. He didn't call you to be on a job. Powerful. Thank you, Bishop. Appreciate you. Bless you, Bishop. Come on. There's a difference between job and work. Come on, somebody say, Pastor Bryant, what is the difference? What is the difference, Pastor Come on, Bryant? somebody say, Pastor Bryant, what is the difference between a job and work? Yes. A job is what you are paid to do. Mm. Work is what you are created to do. Mm. A job is what you are paid to do. Right. Work is what you are created to do. Right. God gave you work. God gave Adam work. God did not give Adam a job. My God. Come on. Wow. This is good. Come stuff. on. God gave Adam work. Not a job. Because a job will the the greatest. My God. Lord have mercy. God bless you, Trash. All right. A job is what you're paid to do. That's right. God bless you, Deborah. God bless you, Deborah. Tell your husband we say hello. Yes. A job is what you are paid to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. But work is what? What you are created to do. Wow. There you go. Good, Benita. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. I want you to see that. You can retire from your job, mm -hmm. but you can't retire from your work. See, with the job, you retire. With work, you refire. Did you hear me? What? With the job, <laughs> you retire. But with work, you refire. Wow. Because you begin to say, man, now I'm really moving into this thing. With a job, you retire, but with work, you refire. Work is what you were created to do. Wow. See you all at six. Okay. Father, we thank you for Felicia and the Seed Song. Amen. You better come on here. <laughs> Blessings to you. Come on. You need to know that. Your work Bomb. is your assignment. Write that down. Your work is your assignment. Okay. Your work is your assignment. I love you too. You're not going to work. I mean, you're not going on a job. You're on assignment. Love you. Oh, that's right. You're on assignment. If you understood that, then you wouldn't get frustrated at your job mm -hmm. because your job is preparing you for your work. Mm. Your job is only a place for you to refine your gift. Amen. Come on. Watch this. Your job is the place. Watch this. 
You refine your gift. Your job is the place that you find your gift. Uh-oh. Wow. Did you catch that? Your job is the place you find your gift. The thing you would rather be doing than doing that, that is your work. Your job, when Joseph was out in the field, he began to daydream. Why? Because God was showing him his gift. That's right. And some of you are at a job and you are frustrated. Yes. You're at a job that doesn't value you because right. God is trying to get you to find your gift. Wow. Hallelujah. That's good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Thank you, Father. I'll come back at six. I'll come back at six. I think we need, we, we've been teaching on the Holy Ghost at six, mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, but I want to I wanna pick back on this today at six. Okay. Meet me back at six o'clock. Somebody do me a favor. Put down uh, the different ways you can give. I see people have been given, but there are people that don't know how to give. Just put put down... Put down the ways that you can give, please. Put down the website and the cash app for me. Okay. All right. All right. Tap that screen if you were blessed today. I'm Thank you. Blessed. Thank you. Come on. Kenny say you see you at six. Pastor. See you at six, man of God. Amen. Blessing. I want to follow up on this. I want to follow up. And I want to keep talking about oh your job and your work. Yes, See, God gave Adam work. He didn't give Adam a job. Because toil is a part of the curse. Wow. Cash app information. Thank you, Liz. Yes. Meet me back at 6. I want to let you go and digest this. There it is, Liz. Did you get it? Thank you, Bonita, for putting that up there. Come on. Thank you, Gloria. Meet me back at 6. Meet us back at 6. Meet us back at 6. Amen. We're going to continue. Wow, I'm blown away. Thank you. Yeah, Amen. meet us back at 6. If, if you think this was powerful, at 6, God's going to turn it up. God's going to turn it up at 6. We are so grateful and honored to serve each one of you. Yes. Yes. This is our privilege to Thank serve you. you. Thank you that God. is what God has called us to do, to serve Amen. this generation with our gift. Working on a cash app account, but I'm fed. Awesome. That's okay. Amen. That's okay. Amen. Good. Thank you for... All right. There's the cash app. You can go to the website. You can go to the website. Also, they'll put it up there. Yes. We love you all. Yes. Meet us back at 6. Meet us back at 6. Kenny, I want you to know you are you are a thermostat and not a thermometer. <laughs> Kenny, you are a thermostat. Remember that. Yes. Love you. We, Shalom. We also want to say happy birthday to our youngest daughter. Yes, today Jennifer. Birthday, today, Jennifer. can you say happy birthday to our youngest daughter? Yes. Today is her birthday. Yes. We'll be uh, shouting at her once Amen. we get off here. That's happy right. birthday, Jennifer. Happy, we love you. We love you. I need it. Strength, good, awesome word. Amen. That's good. right. Go to our website. What a word. What a word. Love you, uh, Olivia. Amen, Olivia. All right, go to the website. You can sew there. Go to the cash oh, app. Mom, mom said hello. Tell Love you, Mom. Kelly, I said hello. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. All right, meet us back at six o'clock. Thank you. Six o'clock sharp. We'll be back. Uh, but the Lord, Father, we thank you. We don't take it for granted. That's right. Now, Lord, I pray over each person this morning Amen. that they will, you will cause them to discover Amen. their dominant gift. Thank you, cause Jesus. them to discover their gift. Yes, cause Lord. them to refine their gift. Yes. And then you will cause people to find them. Thank we you, thank you thank that you, this Jesus. word will be manifested yes, in the Lord. lives of the people. And they will never be the same again. In Jesus' name, it is so. Amen. Amen. We love all right. You all. Love you all. God, God bless, bless you. you.